there is something we call familiar spirits. And there is something we call monitoring spirits. Most people are familiar with monitoring spirits, but very few people are familiar with familiar spirits. And what I want you to understand today is that familiar spirits are far more dangerous than monitoring spirits. And that is because monitoring spirits can only move based on what they know about you. Meaning, as long as you keep your mouth shut, you won't have to watch your back. They won't be able to afflict you. Because monitoring spirits are not like God. Unlike God, they are not omniscient. Meaning, they cannot read your mind. I'll quickly give an example here. And we go deeper than I talk about familiar spirits because that's what I want to talk to you guys about and it's going to be very powerful. In the Bible, we see a man called Samson. His destiny is to deliver, or rather his assignment, is to deliver the children of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. And the Philistines could not stop him as long as they did not know his secret. But they strategically positioned a monitoring spirit in his life. And in this case, we are talking about Delilah. Delilah kept on asking Samson, Samson, what is your secret? Where is your power? What gives you power? And as long as uh, he lied about the source of his strength, the Philistines could not overthrow him. It was until he shared and told Delilah that his strength was in his hair that the Philistines were able to take him to a barber shop and remove his hair. And after that, a man with the destiny of a lion died like a hyena because of a monitoring spirit. What would have happened to Samson if he did not share his secret to and with Delilah? I believe Samson will have fulfilled his assignment. A lot of people can't progress in life, can't make progress in any way because of uh, the people around them. The people around them are portals to monitoring spirits. They are a harbor to monitoring spirits. That every time you share your goals, your dreams, and your plans, rather even your achievements with them, guess what? Before you know it, everything will collapse. And that is because uh, you are dealing uh, with a monitoring spirit. Hence, you need to be careful who you share your dreams, your goals, your progress. Because not everybody wants to see you progress. So it's important you check who you share your dreams and your goals with. It goes beyond friends. It goes beyond ordinary people. It comes down to family members as well. There are people who are surrounded by portals to these spirits. Some of you, your own mother. Some of you, your own father. Some of you, your own sister. I'm talking about you knowing that this deal is a done deal. And before you know it, out of excitement, out of joy, you share it with your sister. You share it with your father. You share it with your mother. And before you know it, everything goes haywire. And you come back and wonder why and what happened. How come this deal was a done deal? What really happened is because that very moment when you shared that, a monitoring spirit was informed that this is what's going to happen. And what they do is they specialize in causing havoc in the lives of men, in the lives of people. So every time you share something that is about to happen, to you or something that you're about to do for yourself or in your life, whether it's a business, whether it doesn't matter what it is. If you want to build a house or you want to buy a car, it is very important. Actually, it's wisdom for you to keep quiet about it because not everybody around you wants to see you go up, wants to see you win, wants to see you succeed. So some people are strategically positioned by the enemy just as you have destiny helpers believe it or not the opposite is true you also have destiny destroyers and this is so important for a child of god to understand because satan 
only moves with what he knows. A monitoring spirit only moves because of what it knows. I'll give another example, and we talk about familiar spirits. In the book of Matthew chapter 3, and you read verses 12, Jesus is baptized by a man called John. The heavens open. The Holy Spirit came in a form of a dove, and a voice spoke and said, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. What did the voice say? This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Before that, we have never seen Satan attack Jesus. Jesus, at the age of 12, confused the scholars, answered questions in the synagogue. The time he was lost, he, he was able to shock even scholars at that time, but Satan was never bothered. It was until when heaven revealed to the people in Jordan and to John the Baptist who Jesus was, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. That when you read Matthew chapter 4, the Bible says, and Satan came after Jesus and said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, you see now, he's using what he had. He did not say, if you are the savior of the world, if you are Christ, if you are the only begotten of the father that he loves. No, 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 no. He used what he had. And he said, if you are a son of God, turn this stone to become bread. So monitoring spirits, they only move based on what they know. The information you share with others, the information you tell others, that's what they use to afflict you. So you need to be very careful here. Because we always say it, and I'm going to say it again, if you watch your mouth, you don't have to watch your back.